am on my on my road. <laughs> I'm on the road to buy some milk for the puppy. Boy, I've got an exciting way to start this video. But I have been in the house. I don't know when I last went out. I mean, as far as going somewhere for days now. And being, let's see, today's Thursday. I don't think I've been out at all. <laughs> really, since maybe Sunday? I don't know. But I am a person who's used to going out at least one place every day, doing something, being out there in the world. You know what? I'm a homemaker, but I'm out there doing something. And if it's even just, just, I say it like just, uh, making videos, you know, shopping video. That's why I think one of the reasons I like, I do them is because I like being out and it, it's kind of fun. Oh, you see the little calf? Yeah. How many people say, oh, the little calf? <laughs> I do. Hey, it's a little calf. It's a new, it's a new birth, you know. And anyway, speaking of new, uh, did, have I mentioned the puppy? Oh, yeah, I think, I think I have. You can hear his little bell in the uh, videos I make at home. You can hear his bell because I've tied a bell to his. Well, I put a bell on its collar, so I know where he is most of the time. But sometimes it's quiet. It's silent. If he. Not really, he doesn't have to be standing still, it just does sometimes. You know, whether, like it's kind of caught, he's twisted the collar or something, and it's caught against his collar and whatever, and he doesn't do it. Well, that happened this morning, and I tripped on him, because I'm so used to paying attention to the bell. And I, I tripped on him, and luckily there was a wall there. Seriously, right to my right, there was a wall, and that stopped me. I had one of the dogs, the dog, the dog that died uh, summer, last summer, he, uh, I, I tripped over him for it because they're black. They're mainly black. <laughs> okay. The two older dog, that dog and the one Marmaduke that's still alive were black, and the puppy is mainly black. So, sunset. It looks better on the um, camera than it does out there, and I never, never understood why everything changes. That's why you don't see me on camera. Myself, one of the reasons, one of the reasons, is uh, <clears throat> because it makes me all, you know, funhouse mirrored. <laughs> I remember I did two, I tried two videos. I've done them every, I used to do them every year at least, one or two. Um, I've been on five years on my original channel, a little over five years. And uh, I used to make all my videos for a while there. But I had a great, great um, webcam that actually worked. The other two I got after that, they don't actually work on Windows 10. Yeah. Well, it's all messy. It's bad, bad, bad. I don't know how they say it. Stay in business. But anyway, I made videos on my cell phone. And I do have an iPad, but I never use it. And this is, my cell phone is an Android. Um, look how beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm doing a live stream here. <laughs> Doesn't it seem like a live stream? You know how distract, distracted they are? Yeah, but I haven't said a gazillion hellos that last anywhere between four and ten minutes at the beginning of the video. Yeah, that's what live streams are like to me. So let's go back. <laughs> Funhouse mirror. That's what happens when, you know, I, I did two of them. The last two I ever tried, uh, one of them made me look like, oh my goodness, it was kind of like, I don't know. You know how you see those scary movies and... Their, their faces are kind of shaped funny, like they're underwater or something like that. It was like that. And the and somebody had even said something to somebody else, like, that video of her scared me. <laughs> you know? so, it was bad. And the other one, I just, I didn't look like myself either. So what's the sense in it? You know, I'm not going, I'm like, yeah, you know, maybe I would like that it doesn't look like me. But no, it looks freaky. No matter what way, it looks freaky. So, I'm going to try after a while to turn this around. Hopefully, my car's coming. I can't see. And, yes, yeah, two lanes turn this way. But, maybe I'll try to see in a little clip. Huh, yeah. Yeah, it's like I'm doing a live stream. <laughs> I did watch some live streams. I got, you know, because I'm in the house so much because of the puppy. I, I shouldn't mention why. I don't want to leave pup, the puppy along with Marmaduke, the big dog, 
Uh, the big dog's old. He's 13, 14 years old, and he's not long for this earth. And he's <clears throat> he doesn't bite him. He seems to know what he's doing. You know, he'll you know he, he doesn't bite him, but he'll snap if the puppy just won't stop. And the puppy won't stop. The puppy is a fierce warrior. You know, <laughs> like that. And <clears throat> he's, he was too feral. We were kind of not told the truth about the puppy when we got him. And I think he was very, you know, rather feral. And why are people turning from him right here? You can't wait five seconds. I'm sure all of y'all really appreciated that noise as much as I did. Yeah. All of y'all. See, I'm Texan. <laughs> That's how we say it. We don't say y'all, just y'all. We say all y'all. Okay. Well, maybe not all of us. Maybe all of y'all. But all of y'all do. <laughs> I don't know if that was a thing for me, you know, during uh, when it was first turn of autumn, a lot of people were putting up signs saying, all y'all welcome or something, and uh, welcome fall y'all, I said, no, that's wrong, it's supposed to be welcome fall all of y'all, <laughs> hey, I've been, did I mention that I've been inside too long, did I mention, and you know that's right in front of me, that noise maker, so yeah, I found some reason to get out i don't need to find a reason to tell anybody like adam you know oh i need a reason you know to go somewhere but in my mind it's for my, me and my mind is more of i need a reason i need a purpose i need a place to go that's how i think yeah so i thought about the need milk for the puppy he's run out of milk um a couple weeks since i think maybe yesterday morning yeah, I think it was yesterday morning. I was going to go yesterday after Adam got off of work, and I was real tired or something, but today I took a nap. They finally, the two dogs, finally decided to settle down from like six or so this morning, and they finally settled down a little bit around two, but then they woke me, the big one, Marmaduke, woke me up at four because he had to go out again. He's got dementia. He doesn't remember. He's already been out like ten times to put on my gloves even though it's 53 degrees outside I'm putting on gloves because I don't know if anybody else's hands do this mine just started doing this last couple or so years like you have the heater on ours is central heat and and we have it set on 65 sometimes if it's real cold it's 67 and it's new it's a couple years you know yeah a couple years old yeah, the, the, there's that. And, uh, but it just makes my hands crack. Like, sometimes on the fingers, you know, the skin. And not my hands, of course, to crack, but my skin. <laughs> and, and it doesn't heal. It's, be, and I know that it has something to do with the lack of humidity. So, uh, both years I've put the humidifier on. I just put the humidifier on yesterday. Again, which is not doing. And it's down, the humidity is down to, like, in the th mid 30s 30 say seeing it 33 34 35 and maybe 36 so far and I have one of those little things that tells what the humidity humidity is that I moved it there or in the room that I have that humidifier but man so I'm putting on these little gloves I got at Dollar Tree probably years ago <laughs> I found them the other day and uh, so because the, the stuff stays open and putting band-aids on my skin at my age I'm 56 putting band-aids on it it's so difficult to get them off without tearing the skin and you know I always thought that people have that problem when they're in their 70s and 80s and the only person I ever knew in my life was a woman who wrote online and she was in her mid 60s and talked about her skin splitting you know like that in the, because of the heat anybody have any ideas but this is Texas now I don't know if it's different for people up north if y'all have learned y'all y'all have learned <laughs> Say that. Learn <laughs> uh, how to com combat that. And I've tried that CeraVe, CeraVe um, hand lotion, and I'm I'm actually allergic to putting like lotions and stuff at the um, if it has uh, any alcohol in it and something else. And yeah, and with the puppy, I'm washing my hands more because he's going through deworming. Um, yeah. That's an awful thing. I should not have mentioned it. I should have said, ew, gross, before it. I actually made a video from my original channel 
all about ooh gross not you know not that bad but just mentioning it is some to me it would be bad enough anyway i gotta go into the store maybe i look a little bit too bad today <laughs> going in there oh i've been dealing with the puppies i mean the dog and the puppy all day long and i'm not dressed up don't even have makeup on nothing and unfortunately my sweatpants that i'm wearing right now are a little bit too short I'm one of those people who's tall, you know, one who's tall and in between the lengths of regular to long. Yeah, if I buy long, it's too long. If I buy short, it's too short for my legs. <laughs> yeah. And finding long, long enough usually sometimes is impossible. Seriously. In anything. <sighs> but anyway, the way I was dressed, the, the cashier in there, she, she walked up and she kind of giggled. When she looked at me and there was a guy, he was standing there, you know, he was the cashier that was actually working and he looked over her and I looked over at her and he said, Is you got a problem? There's so much going on over there. Cause she was laughing and the way she was moving her body and uh, I said, yeah, I was just about to ask her myself. <laughs> yeah. See, I'm learning. Oh, I'm learning. Yeah, I've always been kind of like that. So, hey. But yeah, it's good to say, uh-uh, that behavior's not right. You know, and that, and that was basically a way to say, it. yeah, I was about to ask her myself. And she said, oh, I'm just, just not feeling myself right now. I'm just not feeling myself. But she was acting like she was a little bit on the high side, if you ask me. Maybe not high, but just hyperactive, maybe. I don't know. But yeah. Anyway, don't judge people like that, you know? You don't know. She just might have been kind of hyperactive. Or she might have looked at me and said, Boy, she looks like it. Like Adam calls, calls it whenever I'm not all put together and my hair's kind of wild. Um, you know, humidity. Well, it's not humidity right now. But he'll call it my bag lady look. Gee, thanks, Adam. You know, he is my ex-husband. Y'all know that? Yeah. He's my ex-husband for a reason or a gazillion of reasons. Yeah, back lady, I'm telling you. So I was cooking when I left, but it was still light and I wanted to get out and I wanted to do something. And I was cooking something for supper. I'm having to cook more at home because Mon I think it was Monday, today is Thursday. So I'm thinking it was Monday that I made some gumbo and the packet, the gumbo um, <clears throat> was a packet, you know, one of those packets you buy at a store for gumbo mix. And I know how to make gumbo grew up on gumbo. <laughs> I'm Texan, but <clears throat> right across from the Louisiana border. And, uh, and my grandmother was French and uh, she only had one ancestor that was Cajun. Cajun. But anyway, I know how to make gumbo, but I did a packet. Man, it must have had a ton of sodium in it. And I had put sausage, shrimp, and um, what else? Chicken was in it. Chicken sauce chicken shrimp and sausage and the sausage between the sausage and the sauce the gumbo mix i think it was way too much sodium for me and i didn't eat all that much but ever since then my fingers have been swollen just the fingers nothing else you know i went to the hospital i mean a couple months ago because my ankles were swollen and they told me to watch the sodium well i didn't think of how much sodium could be in that gumbo mix because I've already made it before like a month or so before then maybe two and it just didn't seem to do anything but anyway usually this kind of stuff goes away in a day you know I've had this happen over years you know every blue moon but it's not going away it's kind of scaring me so I'm trying to really watch my sodium which I'm doing okay so far. <laughs> I don't want to try to be a little bit histrionic there. Oh, that's not the light. Um, just be a little histrionic. Southern Bell histrionic. <laughs> anyway. I don't know if anybody even watches those, not many, watches those, uh, those stories I'm telling. They're hypothetical, fictional. About, you know, uh, I've known people who with those behaviors the histrionics, the, you know, I'm not, I'm talking, I'm talking behaviors, not the disorders, but yeah, with narcissistic and histrionic blend is what I call it, and so I'm making up little stories, um, you know, about, like I said, 
Oh, come on, people. Y'all get together here. <laughs> yes, we can, we can go. Yeah, I know. They don't control that. But anyway, <clears throat> so I'm enjoying it. I've always liked making little short stories. And I've done that on videos before. Not too awfully many um, here and there. Well, it might be more than, because they're all kind of hypothetical. They're all kind of, oh, my goodness. Do you see that? Yeah, when was I ever going to get across? Ha! Huh, yay, I got one. I got a light, finally. Anyway. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I grew up around a lot, and it just, throughout my life, seriously. I don't know what it is. Well, I do kind of know what it is. But, um, to have so many, the unfortunate, <laughs> it's very unfortunate to have so, had so many just male and female around me, you know, like at jobs or something like that, that they were just so theatrical, so um, just way out there, really, you know, center of attention, they didn't care if it was negative or positive attention, they just wanted attention, nobody else could have the attention, they could even act out like a little child to get that attention, and a wild way of dressing and stuff, but if you watch those videos, you know what I'm talking about, um, yeah, and so whenever I do something like even telling a story, I can sometimes feel like, okay, well, aren't you being theatrical? <laughs> you know? I'm like a plain Jane. Like I said, I look like an Adam's bad, bag lady woman thing. But I'm not wearing any makeup, but I have allergies. So that's why I usually don't wear any makeup. And I, will, I, can, I can wear some, but I'll start itching after a while. And if I wear lipstick, usually I'll start sneezing quickly. Just depends on what I get. I am rambling all over the place, but you know what? If this had been a live stream, it would not have mattered <laughs> at all. Seriously, it would not have mattered at all. If you've ever watched live streams, they seldom stick to one subject and <clears throat> and in the middle of the subject, they have a gazillion, it seems like, okay, I'm exaggerating, like, you know, like those histrionics do. But they do, they have so many interruptions. It's like, oh, hi, so-and-so, oh, hi, because they have the live catch, ca uh, live catch, live chat on. Hi, so-and-so, hi, how are you doing? And then they tr get back to the subject for like one sentence. Oh, hi, so-and-so. I mean, I know it's tough because I've done them. I've done uh, live streams, it was years ago, but I've, did, I've done them. And yeah, you can get very distracted. I don't think I did. I need to go back and listen to them and see, you know, but I don't think I did because I usually did it with somebody else and I don't recall us having too many, I don't think we had uh, the live chat, maybe once or twice, I don't know, I don't remember, but anyway, at least mine has a little bit of flow <laughs> without interruptions, a little flow is better than no flow. That just did not sound right, did it? But you know what I mean. Anyway, I think I'll wrap this one up. Y'all went with me? Y'all went with me. What's this Texan thing, Grace, going, going on here, Grace? Yeah, <clears throat> just coming out. But anyway, y'all went with me to, you know what, I don't like saying y'all, but went with me to the store and back to get the puppy some milk. Don't you feel like you've accomplished something today? I do. I got out of the house. Thank goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm not one to say in, like I said. So, it was good to get out. Alright, I'll talk to you on another video. Bye.